Good morning fellow Earthlings! What is going on today? This video, I'm gonna go pick up a new enclosed trailer. Well, hopefully I'm gonna pick up the new enclosed trailer. It's not a brand new enclosed trailer, obviously. It's new to me, so that's where new is coming from. Stay tuned guys to find out, you know, how big this trailer is, why I'm buying it, and uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna help me with the rage room and the junk removal business all in one. So I'm gonna go check this trailer out. It is currently 7.45 in the morning, and I'm ready to go. I'm hyped up, I have my bacon. I didn't have any eggs this morning because my chicken what? hasn't been pooping out eggs lately. <laughs> Dang chicken! Anyways, let's get started with this video, guys. Whoosh. Okay, I'm fixing to pull into this guy's yard here. I'm gonna go check out the trailer, guys. And if I purchase the trailer, hopefully I can I can get him down from 1,500 to around you know maybe a thousand, twelve hundred dollars. That's what I'm looking to pay for this thing. Uh, it's not. It doesn't look like it's in the greatest condition, but it does look. It does look like it will do. It's a single axle enclosed trailer. Um, so I'm about to pull in here. Uh, see if I can make the deal. If I make the deal, I will uh, film the trailer, show you guys what I bought, pull it back home, and uh, start working on it. Because I'm gonna have to put some vinyl on it and everything for advertisement. All right, here we are pulling in. So, if you can see, that's the trailer right there in the yard. We'll see. I just got back to the office, guys, and unfortunately, I didn't buy the trailer. It was just, it wasn't in good enough shape, and the guy wouldn't come down low enough for me to purchase it, so I didn't purchase it. Um, and now I'm just kind of upset, you know? I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. Probably just going to... You know, go inside and take a nap or something. Just kidding. I bought the trailer, guys. It's sitting right here. It's hooked up to my truck. And it's in okay shape. Let me go ahead and open it up and give you a quick tour of this trailer that I bought. And if I got you there, if I tricked you, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know that I tricked you guys. <laughs> um, I didn't get to do an April Fool's joke on this channel, so happy late April Fool's, guys. See if I get this damn thing open. All right, so it has this AC on it because, um, well, first of all, let me walk you around the outside here. Uh, this side is missing a fender, but that's not too big of a deal. It's cosmetics. The wire here, uh, this is an electrical, you know, extension cord. Basically, that powers the trailer, and I'll show you what it powers on the inside. I wasn't really too worried about that, but it came with the trailer. It's got these hooks on the side so like I can hang ladders on it and everything. Um, this is 16 foot long from the back of the trailer to the front of the tongue here. It takes a size 2 uh, ball on it and um, also I wanted to show you guys the ball that I have because it's an interchangeable Reese um, trailer hitch ball which basically allows you to put a flathead screwdriver in it, twist it, take the ball off and put a different size ball on instead of unscrewing the whole you know the whole bolt from the bottom here and then replacing it with a whole different ball uh, Reese actually made a really really cool invention and uh, it's about a $50 ball but it is totally worth it you can put the um, 2 and 5 16 the 2 inch and the 1 and 5 16 inch ball on there all without unscrewing that um, whole bolt system there anyway um, it's got the chains and it's got the wire, but the wire is not connected back to the uh, lights, so I need to get that working. Um, it didn't come with a title, so I'm going to have to go get it weighed at the weigh station and then uh, t title it as a, a homemade trailer, which is no problem with me. The, um, the jack here is not the best jack, but it'll have to do for now. It's got the chains on it, so that's nice and safe. Um, there's no leaks in the whole thing, no leaks on the trailer, which is good as well um, let's walk around the other side here let me actually flip the camera around real quick all right guys so this is the other side of the trailer that's what the fender is supposed to look like uh, this tire actually has pretty good tread on it but it's dry rotted so I'm gonna have to replace those soon so I could drive around you know feeling safe 
The frame underneath is in good condition. I only saw a little bit of rust, which is which is good. Uh, you can see how tall this thing is. It is really a tall trailer from top to bottom. So I can actually walk inside this thing without ducking, I believe. Um, so yeah, let's open up the back doors here. I'll show you the inside. So he's got wooden floors here with these uh, brackets to like tie, tie stuff down. And uh, so the, the electricity goes to these lights on the top, it goes to this air conditioning, and then we have um, a light switch here and plugs all along the bottom. Actually, this is uh, my first time walking in it. I didn't even walk in it because he had stuff in here. But yeah, he has electric plugs. He didn't finish putting this panel, this paneling. I guess there's you know some panels missing, but this thing is fully insulated. And uh, this wood flooring, I guess it adds a nice touch. I'm just going to be using this thing for storage, guys. But as you can see, I'm standing in this thing without ducking. It is literally, I don't know, six foot five inches, six foot six inches. And so I have plenty of space to just walk right in here, put my furniture in here. And what I'm going to be using this trailer for is storage because at the rage room, I was going to leave enough room for storage there, but I decided to use all the space in the back to um, completely use it for like the raging area. So I have two rage rooms there that I was able to build in the back bay area, as you know. And um, it's it just gonna work out way better to store the stuff here. I'm gonna park this in a parking spot behind the building. And actually, I'm gonna be able to logo it up. You know, I'm gonna probably do a full wrap on this thing. So this is gonna be a moving billboard for Fellow Worthings Rage Room. And it's gonna look way better than this when I'm done with it, obviously. So uh, let's talk a little bit about the price. All right, so. I got this bad boy, well first of all I'll tell you what he was asking. I went on Facebook, I found this trailer on Facebook and all other enclosed trailers that were this big, they were asking $3,000, 3500 4000 uh, and that's even used they were asking those prices. Majority of them were um, tandem axle which is two axles on the bottom but this one is single axle, that's not a problem with me. I'm not going to be loading it down with concrete or anything super heavy, it's just going to be like furniture and TVs. and. Uh, you know storing stuff that we're gonna smash um, So he was asking fifteen hundred dollars for this which was a good price to start with and I was like wow You know, let me go check this out. I messaged him right away. He got back to me He let me know that I can meet him here, you know at his house this morning so I drove over there and uh, Looked over the thing and basically I pulled it out of the hole It was in it was sitting there for a year. So the guy never really used it and um I need to do a couple things like replace the tires and uh, you know the front I need I need to hook the wires up from the front to the back so the lights work on it and that's not gonna cost too much but uh, so he was asking fifteen hundred dollars and me being the hustler I am I was like you know will you take any less and he said yes he'll, he'll take less to make him an offer and we'll, we'll go from there and so I don't like to really lowball people but I thought, you know, I'm going to spend at least $500 on this thing be between tires and lights. So I figured if he can give it to me for a thousand bucks, that would be a good deal for me and a good deal for him. He hasn't used it, so, you know, it's just been sitting there making him no money. So a thousand bucks is a thousand bucks. So that's what I did, guys. I offered him a thousand bucks and he said, yeah. He said, yeah, he'll take a thousand bucks. So I got this thing for $1,000. He told me he was trying to get $1,200 for it. That's why he priced it at the 15, but you know I was gonna offer him 12, but you know $200 is $200, so I was able to save myself $200 by offering him the thousand dollars up front, and he took the thousand dollars. So you know there's nothing wrong with making an offer to somebody, and if they don't take the offer, then you up your offer. I was ready to go up to to 1,200. I actually brought $1,500 to pay him full price just in case he didn't come down. But he did end up coming down on his price. I got it for $1,000, so I'm super happy with that. And I'm going to be uh, basically cleaning this thing up and using it to store stuff in my, uh, in, you know, store stuff for the rage room. Anyways, guys, I ha I'm actually on a kind of str strict schedule today. So I have these shelves in the back of the truck right here. And I had a dude make these shelves for me. 
Uh, you probably saw them in the Rage Room video that I made not too long ago. And I need to get them cut three inches shorter. So we're going to go trade them out for shelves that are three inches shorter, or he's going to cut them off and, and fix them for me. So I got to go do that. He's, uh, you know, probably 45 minutes from here. And let me also show you these. Uh, you know, as you know, we're going to be smashing glass in the Rage Room, guys. So I purchased, I went to Lowe's, and I purchased this big blue um, trash can, and I vinyled it up to say glass only here. And so basically, we're going to drop this off to one of the bars in downtown DeLand. And they're going to have people drop their bottles in here for us. We're going to come pick it up once a day or once a week whenever it's full. And also, there's another place that has a smaller area. So I bought this smaller trash can and I put Rage Room on the front and glass only on the top. And that's going to fit perfectly in the spot that they have. So that's for two of the bars that we're going to be working with. And um, also, guys, one really cool thing, we went to um, we went to Hungry Howie's to get some pizza yesterday because we were getting home late and there wasn't really any time to cook dinner, uh, you know, and then feed the kids and then get them to bed on time. So we just got some pizza. While we were at Hungry Howie's, my wife was telling them about our rage room idea, and Hungry Howie said that if we bring by a fat stack of flyers, they will put them on every pizza that they send out whether it's delivery or takeout or in-house. They're gonna hand a flyer out with every pizza. And Hungry Howie's gets really busy, guys. They have affordable pizzas at affordable prices. This is not a paid ad. <laughs> but they're gonna be helping us out, so I'm really excited about that. I'm also gonna go by all the other pizza places and drop off flyers and see if they're willing to do the same thing. It's gonna be really, really awesome. This Rage Room, I think, is gonna take off bigger than I even know. So I'm doing my best to be over-prepared. Um, and, and that's all I can do, you know, do my best and, uh, and over-prepare and go above and beyond and, and just hope that, just hope for the best, hope that everything really works out. I'm taking huge risks, I'm spending a lot of money. I'm about 10 grand in with this, with the rent, the electricity, the things I had to buy, the wood, the trailer. I'm about $10,000 in, if not more, with this rage room and uh hopefully we can make that back in the first week or so anyways guys i'm gonna go ahead and get on with my day i appreciate it if you could help me out hit that like button and while you're at it if you haven't subscribed yet join the fellow earthlings family subscribe down below hit that notifications bell what that's going to do is give you a notification on your phone every time i put up a new video so you can follow along and see what we're doing i appreciate it and uh let's go